Welcome everybody and let's see how to uninstall uh, Sublime Text in case you get some problem with some plugins uh, that doesn't work well you want to reinstall them. Um, you see here for example I um, give you an advice to install three uh, indispensable plugins that are very useful if you want to use Sublime Text and maybe Python for your workflow. You see here for example I got this um, uh, this simple uh, statements here and this one uh, what they do is to print some something on on the on this interpreter and uh, see it on the on this other this right side of the of sublime text uh, instead down here you see there is the Linux um, command line but you can have also the um, uh, the Windows command line and you see that if you go here and I press Alt and 1 you will see um, the command line starting from this directory here where this file is and so it's very useful and you can run for example the same um, example.py file and run it down here instead that here uh, in case you need it or then if you got for example git and you wanna do git add something like that from here you don't have to open the command line from outside sublime text etc and let's see how to do it and how to uninstall uh, these plugins in case you get some problems or if some other plugins give you problems you wanna reinstall everything you first of all you can go under preferences and raw browse packages and you can just delete the packages from here uh, directly and these are into update the roaming sublet text packages so you can go here and delete everything and you are done because if you uninstall um, um, sublime and reinstall it you um, will always have the same packages in here because this one uh, will not be deleted. So um, if you want to install um, Sublime Text, you just have to go to sublimetext.com and download the your Windows or OS X or Linux um, installation um, uh, executable file etc and from here and install it but uh, you won't get rid of the packages uh, you can get rid of them go in here browse packages and just deleting them um, and now it's impossible to um, to delete this one because this one is opened so let's uh, delete it going into the um, drive into user uh, into your name here app data and uh, then uh, roaming then sublime text tree packages and let's delete also this now uh, if you open it, this one again or you can also uninstall it uh, going here into your application installation and uninstallation you go search for sublime text and you uh, can uninstall it from here if you want to uninstall everything and reinstall it from scratch mm. Let me check out where is it. Sublime Text here, you uninstall it and then reinstall it what you downloaded from the site. That is this one, sublimetext.com. And then you will have it back your file. And if you look now, we don't have um You see that we don't have the terminal, terminals, etc. Uh, what you've done when you reinstall it, you should probably go into common palette and go and do install package. The first time it will install it. So look, it's loading now 
the repository and if you do the first time you will install it the um, install package before and then you're gonna uh, open it again the install package and then go into terminus and, te and let's go first with sublime repl okay sublime repl let's install again okay now I have installed it but if I press ctrl B it won't won't work um, and to make it work uh, you have to do another thing uh, you have to go and copy uh, my this JSON file I'm gonna uh, look into um, I have saved here in my in this folder and I put it into my the info for the of this video then you have to go into preferences key binding and then into this user default sublime key map user going to copy everything and so now you have binded the key uh, to uh, make uh, to make Sublime work wrapper with Ctrl B. You see that this is the code that is running. Made this window here. Then you see something appear here. Or if you go here and press Ctrl B, you see here print hello, hello, and print OS list there. Now another thing that is cool. Uh, you see that here when I press OS and the dot nothing appears but there is another cool plugin that is called kite and let's go and let's go always into install package control here and do kite and press on kite auto complete you see here is installing it and after okay uh, after you installed it uh, you will see that when I press OS you see here you have all the um, methods that you can use like list here etc rest suggested with kite so this is useful too and now um, I have already installed terminus and for some reason I haven't deleted it because let me see where is terminus probably it's in another it's here probably let me delete it from installed packages and see if I got it okay now I don't have it anymore because terminus probably install itself with a different so let's go back into um, command palette let's install click this install package and now let's terminus there it is now it, up. it, it appears now we install it see here down here it's installing and now as I have made the key binding key for sublime rapper and also for um, terminus here now after it is done it should work but before it works you must close it and open it again let's open this file again and now press L1 you see the command line starting from this folder and if you press Alt 2 you will start always from this folder but with the Linux uh, command line as you can see this is Linux works with LS instead Python and instead the Windows command line uses dir for the files in the directory and you can run Python from here you can run the file you can write git from here you see Python so exit you can run git and uh, also from here you can run you can run git etc and so that's all 
and remember to copy um, the key binding that I remember you have to go here, key binding go here and paste the code the, it's not code but the text for the JSON file, the data for the JSON file that's in, in the description. Thank you and see you next time and remember to use always Sublime Repo, Kite and Terminus.